some of you who feel that you have issues to address, the way we can give you the assurance that we will not fail you. And tonight we have come to put some things to rest. This party will go into the next election. And the United States, the family, coming together and the same hope in the same direction. We, wherever it is to put service above God and country above body. And tomorrow I'm going to start from this platform the purpose of binding up the wounds of the body of the Father. So no matter thank you for coming to speak the word of faith. And now I will it for you today. On the 12th of March, you will reply to the simplest presentation of the Ethical Government. And 
there's a difference between the amount you can get back and what you can get back. Right now, no, 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 a period of time, I'll set the difference of graces in some fact, and he'll give him back. So it's not all the time. All the time, people give him news. We can do that. So for the argument, if you have a hundred pounds, and if you're only a third, it gives you sixty, then you're just standing there. Not every day, plus he gives him. Every day, man, that. Over three three years. I was raised to income tax. And if there is something to eat, and I've not done that one. And if there is something to eat, that has invested people in pensions, in people, and it says that about all the money, let the company raise up the difference between what you can give them back and what they should get back. And you can take off raising that. So then I can do that. Judicial management, which I called for on the 6th of March 2009, is actually only second place in April 2011. 25 months! But! Before judicial management was put in place, God knows! What happened? And between July 2010 and April 2011, there was no oversight, there was no judicial management, there was nobody to protect the assets of people's companies, which must be drawn upon if the government of Barbados and the taxpayers of Barbados are to help those poor policyholders in this country. The judicial manager, I told you there was more to come. He told you there would be 3.3 million. He didn't tell you it was check number 92. He didn't tell you that it was check number 92 drawn on the Barbados National Bank. But I'm going to tell you that tonight. He didn't tell you that it was recorded in Pico's books as legal fees for the UWA teaching block. But I will tell you that here tonight. But I will stop there. Because the first issue is recovery. Because today's date is the 1st of March 2012. And on the 6th of March 2009, two days short of three years, I stood up in the Parliament of Barbados and let a no confidence motion against the then Prime Minister and Minister of Finance on the issue of people. And then I went to tell the court, and then I said, I told you we were going to bring it when I had the honor of leading this great party. I told you we were going to bring it. And some were worried, some were nervous, some felt that we shouldn't go there because we were not even a full year in opposition and the government not even a full year in government. And I said then, as I do now, that the substance of what we discovered showed us that the Prime Minister was misleading the country when he told you that people were sound and safe and well regulated. And I bear the scars well. I bear the scars well. Because I was told I was subversive. I was told that I was unpatriotic. No one reminded you earlier that Fondel said it should be punished with laughter. But there is another man that has to be brought to justice. And the only way that the people of St. Michael South East are going to deliver and convict that individual is to ensure that I become the next representative for Sir Michael Thompson. And I, I, I say that with, with, with no, no, no feeling or no excuse, you know. I say that because the Barbados Labour Party gave Hamilton lastly the opportunity to assist and to take the people of the Barbados out of poverty. To take the people of St. Michael's Southeast out of poverty. 
Allah has given them. We may have tried on the Labour Party, but we do not hear him to lastly call with the Democratic Labour Party right now to address the issues of poverty across parties. We do not hear him calling on the Democratic Labour Party on anything related to the issues that are facing Barbados. He takes a stand recently in the House of Parliament and says he's boycotting the war on this. Who was he boycotting? He's talking about the, the passenger tax. But he doesn't say to the people of Barbados or to the constituents in St. Michael Southie that the Barbados government can find $800,000 to pick up, to pay it work, to cut down trees, to pay it buildings, and their work to get it cut off. And he's silent. We cannot in this day and age have a company that takes people's money and then make it out as they please supporting the high lifestyles of individuals who wear the suits that um, that side they wear and buy the big cars and live a lavish life on the backs of poor people and then those poor people today have to look to their government and say help me yeah. you mean we are now in a country where those individuals who did that can drive up and down the world in their fancy cars Smiling and waving. There are the people who they have whose money they have not invested properly have to suck some. 